So I finally figured out how to put metahumans into high heels in a way that works for me, and I wanted to share the solution with everybody else. High Heels Rig is a simple system that converts regular flat-footed animations to high-heeled ones. It does this automatically without any manual animation work needed, and the best part is that it works natively with metahumans. To test this new heel system, I've gone ahead and made a new metahuman outfit that's available today on Fab, and the heels for this outfit are set to 30 degrees, which matches a setting in High Heels Rig, which you'll see a little bit in the future. This is what a metahuman in the outfit looks like with a regular walking animation. And this is what the outfit and metahuman look like using the new high heels rig. These animations are of course from the free third person template, and high heels rig works great with any of the Epic Games free sample content that you can get and are used to working with over the last couple of years. High Heels Rig also works great with all of the different mocap solutions. Here's a sample clip from my Vicon system before we've added High Heels Rig. And here's that same animation with High Heels Rig applied. Again, the high heels are looking great. To install High Heels Rig, you're simply going to go to Fab and add it to your project. Next, create and assemble a metahuman. Now go to your metahuman's body skeletal mesh and open it. Scroll down to the post-process animation blueprint, and we're going to go find that in the finder slash content browser, and copy that animation blueprint to a new folder, and give it a new name like NMBP MH Heels. Open the animation blueprint and add a control rig node. Change the class to High Heels Rig and compile. Now, on the control rig node, expose the High Heels Angle field and whatever you type here will be the angle the foot adjusts to. In the skeletal mesh, change the post process BP to the new heels one, and you are all done. So now you've created a new metahuman and it's using the new post process animation blueprint that has high heels rig running in it. So let's go ahead and test this. Drag out your metahuman, and now you can assign an animation asset to the body, and you'll see that it has the high heels properly applied. Next, I want to make a major disclaimer about High Heels Rig and the type of animation work that's being done behind the scenes. The way that this system works is with an FK offset. So what's going to happen as the heels go up, your whole body is going to go up. And in most cases, that's fine. Where it's not fine, again, is if you need the hand animations to line up with a door. Again, if you need your butt to line up with a chair, you're going to have to make some manual adjustments afterwards because, again, this whole system is not IK based, which keeps the pelvis in place. It's going to raise the entire body up. So that's the major disclaimer. If you work with animation, that should make sense. You can go in afterwards and sort of adjust the location of the hands if you wanted with like an additive control rig or a layered control rig. But for the majority of just walking around, jumping, shooting, swinging swords, all of those animations will be completely fine. Your character is just going to be a little bit higher up off the ground. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video, and I hope that if you've been wanting to add high-heeled animations to your metahumans, that this solution will work for you. Now, the major thing that's missing from this whole you know, equation here is, of course, more 3D high heels for metahumans, specifically in the new outfit format, that actually work with this system. So I'm personally going to be making more outfits that work with high heels, but that is not enough. So in the future, I'm going to add to my MetaHumans course on outfits. I'll be adding a new section specifically on how to author MetaHuman heels that work with this system or similar animation techniques. So that wraps it up for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.